All right, welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy Let's Play. This is Darkful Dave, your host, here to entertain. Now it's time to enter Bowser's Star Reactor. I've been looking forward to this since it's the first Bowser level that we are going to be running into. The Fiery Stronghold. So, it's a stronghold of fire. Now, I like these levels a lot because A... They're linear. They're much more linear, I guess I should say, since all the levels are pretty linear. But they're much more linear, and I like linear levels. And they remind me a lot of Super Mario 64. You know, if the music doesn't do that enough for you, since it's basically the same exact music. Alright. One up. Not bad. You know... I haven't lost too many lives, I find. Like, that was almost a life lost there. Alright. Ooh, there's Thwomp. We haven't seen him in a while. Alright. And that is a pretty cool elevating... Elevation... Elevator platform? Alright. Keep going. Don't get burned. Oh, God. I wouldn't even recommend asking about what happened in that last one, but we're back here. That thwomp is not too hard to evade if you know what you're doing. But then again, do I ever know what I'm doing? No. The answer to that question is a very big fat no. Okay, I was wondering why that thwomp is coming down. Okay, now we're on the thwomp. And if I'm correct... I was not correct. Or maybe I was just unfruitful. Let's find out. The verdict is unfruitful. What killed me was not my skill, my... Well, I mean, wow. <laughs> Obnoxious much? No. Quite obnoxious, actually, and no, it's actually not the angle. You can't wall kick off of that. I guess that took me a bit more tries than was necessary. Oh, that pains me. Actually, I'm a little bit higher now, so maybe this is enough of leverage. Okay, no. Oh, okay, I... I'm Mario. I can climb my way through iron-graded bars. That makes so much sense. Whatever. All right, and okay, he he didn't even say hi. I mean, come on, we have history. He just comes out of nowhere and starts shooting his fireballs. Look, he's still doing it. Come on, at least say hi. At least say hi. Okay, that was a cool hop right there. And this is the first time people met Bowser on the Wii. All right. Yeah, it was a little bit difficult because, you know, I thought I was cool, but... That... I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Just... just a hunch, big man. Anyway... The music is enough to make me say the Bowser fights are amazing in this game. And I already failed! Wow! Come on, let's do this properly. Oh my god, I failed a second time. Alright. Third time is the charm. And now we can hear the chorus, which makes the soundtrack more amazing than it already is. Because I think it's pretty amazing without the chorus. I, this is probably my favorite song in Super Mario Galaxy. More than the final theme against this guy. So, that just goes to show. I love how you can jump on those, you know... I love how you can jump on those to create shockwaves and nothing will happen, but... Otherwise, he'll just screw himself over. Okay. Another moment where he should have broken the ground there. Okay. He's not difficult, but he's very fun to fight, in my opinion. Between the way the camera angles are and everything else about the fight, it's just... It's very energizing, I, I have to say. And there's that. 
Let's go in for the kill. Bang! Oh, wait, what? One more? Alright. Ow! Crack your skull, why don't you? Uh, because I'm a fat Italian man. Uh, yeah. I've done that, like, six times already. Yeah, Bowser gets a nice, cool set of skills that he doesn't make much use of, like dark teleportation power. Hell, he used dark teleportation power in Super Mario 64, the second fight. I don't know why he didn't just bring that back. Nevertheless, this is the second... No, third grand star of the game, so... Yeah. Awesome stuff there. Now we're gonna go back to the observatory for, um, a very superflu superfluous cutscene, in my opinion. Although that is a very nice shade of green. Okay, now we have three star platform things lit. And now we can get access to the kitchen, and that is very good, because I'm in the mood for a sandwich. Come on. Oh wait, no, we can't go there. We still have more stuff to do at the terrace, because I want to get that prankster comment out of the way. Alright, come on. Well, how do you know that? I I I'd love to know where you're analysts are that tell you this information. He's in the center of the universe, because I just know. Yeah, this is the guy I was talking about two episodes ago. The creepy guy with the prankster comet moving power. He's very sketchy. He would have made a good villain. Alright, so now we have a cosmic comet in Honey Hive. Ow. Whoops, that was headset issues. Hopefully they didn't translate to actual audio. Alrighty, this is Speedy Comet. Yeah, this is the one where you have to race the cosmic clone. These kind of remind me of the Super Mario Sunshine things where you would have to chase down Bowser Jr. when he was all liquid Mario. I, I sh should I even make a comment on that voice, or can I just leave that to your imagination? Because that's a little too easy. Okay, that was the first time I've done that in my life, and I only I only read about that like two years ago, and I've been wondering to see how it would work. I guess that's how it. Fuck you all. All right. Okay, but that's a cool little speed boost you can get, you know, if you know how to do things. I don't think I... Yeah, I really didn't need to fall down there. You know, I like speed missions like this because they allow me to really find the true ways to speed things up. Like, a triple jump would have worked there if I didn't grab onto the edge of that block. But it's cool figuring out how you can break games that weren't intended to, you know, to be done speedily. Like, that's why I don't like Sonic games that much. Because, you know, the emphasis is speed with those games. It's hard to exploit them, really. But, it's fun to, you know, break Mario platforming puzzles, you know, in a way that, like, you know, with a few well-timed jumps and wall kicks, you know, you'll just do very, very awesome things. Alright, so, oh wow, I have 400, I can actually do the Hungry Luma thing, and there are no more cosmic comets there. Yeah, let's, uh, satiate this guy. Alright, hello, man. Oh my god, some of these Luma are very obese, and this is probably a lot of what Japan has to say about America. We just eat and eat and eat until we explode and create pointless worlds that no one wants to do anything in. Alright. This is a sweet, sweet galaxy. And the mission is... Rocky Road. Now this game just knows my current state right now. I'm quite hungry, and I could go for some Rocky Road ice cream right now. 
Oh, that cake looked really good. It's like a mint chocolate swirl. Ugh. Okay, now I'm mad at this stage. Alright, let's just keep doing things. Hopefully. To avail. Come on. <laughs> Mario, you are failing. Which means I'm failing, because I'm in control of your body. Alright. Ooh, wafer. We're on the wafer. We're on the wafer. Alright. Yeah, it's not a hard mission. It's just a platforming mission. This is why I actually like this stage a lot, because, as I've said before, I love the linear stages. And this just reminds me of, like, what a good Mario game would be if it followed the, like... Like, this, in, in my opinion, is what, like, a good level for a 3D Mario game would be if it followed the template of, like, Super Mario World, you know, with that kind of overworld, and then just select the level. And I think this would be a good level in that kind of a game. And for so long, I've wished they would make one, and the closest thing we got was 3D Mario Land, and I'd rather a console one, for to be frank. You know, like, the overworld of New Super Mario Bros. Wii with the gameplay style of that level we just did. I think that would be my ideal Mario game. So, we have another cutscene coming. Oh wait, no we don't. Oh yeah, because I did this in... Alright, that makes more sense. I'm just being a dick right now. Alright, let's... So, you can listen to Rosalina's story in that little door that I just passed, but I don't find any purpose to it. It's not that interesting to me, but... I may do it if you guys demand it, so... Keep that in mind. Now we have the kitchen. I don't think I'm going to do anything here this episode. Maybe. We'll find out. But really, I am hungry, so I may stop. Alright. Well, you could just uncover these galaxies. This is the first one we'll be doing, and it is called the Beach Bowl Galaxy. Alright. Let's just see all of these. Oh, I actually like that one. Uh, oh, okay. Bubble Breeze. Actually, there's... Can I click this galaxy, please? Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Fine, whatever. Alright, so... Yeah, I can't click that one. Okay. So, we have quite a few galaxies that we have uncovered here, and I can actually already access the Bowser Jr. level. That's great. No, I don't want to fly to anything yet. Although, that is probably the first one I'm going to be doing, so... Next episode, we will be doing Bubble Breeze Galaxy. This is Darkful Dave signing out. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Tell your friends. But most of all, just chill. <laughs>